Welcome to Morning Glory Farmstead. My name is Lolly, and this channel is all about gardening, animals, and nature. Hey guys, just a quick reminder that I am not an affiliate of Greenstock. However, they were kind enough to give me a link to give y'all 10 bucks off your first order. So if that's you, head on to the description box and check that out. Hey guys, I'm so glad to be with you again today. Today's gonna be a little bit different. I just had an outpatient surgery done yesterday related to my lymphedema and I'm okay, but I've gotta take it easy. And once I heal up from this in about six weeks, I've got another surgery on the books already. So no moving green stalks today to the new area where the patio is gonna be. Plus it's been raining and so they're full of water and they're super heavy. I'm gonna show you some of what my morning has been like on this rainy day. There is still life to live, animals to take care of, birds to feed, and then we're gonna go for a ride. I wanna talk about why green stock vertical planters are so relevant today and show you some of the stuff that's going on in my area. And then I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments about what you're seeing in your areas. Is any of this even relevant? Does it look familiar? This little girl escapes every single day and now she's decided she's ready to go back in and go lay an egg. I just did a huge harvest of lots of greens, different lettuces, kale, spinach, collards, everything. And this is actually a really big pot. And I'm getting ready to take that inside and cut it all up for the chickens and bring it on out. Runner's about to let the girls know there is something to get excited about. <coughs> Y'all check out the collards. Look how many are on here. And I already fed a bunch to the chickens and also to myself, and they just keep on coming. We had a good rain, so they've really increased in size this morning. And it's all go on the catio, rain or not. As soon as it stops, they're out here. And sometimes they come out here even when it's sprinkling. Now this green stock has a variety of different lettuces, some kale, some spinach, and all kinds of things. The bok choy is starting to flower in several different spots, so you'll see those bright yellow flowers. And also some of the kale is starting to look like it wants to flower a little bit. Um, and so I think this one, some of it's gonna be retiring soon, but there's still a lot of life on here. I'm still eating it. I'm still cutting things off to feed to the chickens. And when those flowers go to seed, I'm gonna save those. All right, let's head into the backyard. This is where my dogs hang out, but nobody's out here today because it's really rainy and muddy. But you guys have seen my other videos, hopefully of where the new patio is gonna be for my green stalks and my grow bags. 
Here's a couple cats hanging out in the window. Anytime the weather is nice, I open it up so they can all hang out and get some fresh air. So here's my giant noble spinach. It's doing really well. Again, we just had some rain and it's still raining all day today, but I was able to come out for a few minutes in between. So the leaves are getting really huge. One of them down at the bottom is like nine or 10 inches tall. Um, so coming out here today to spin it, get some sunlight on the other side. And I'll be getting some of that for myself later today, but it's looking really good, you guys. Super excited that I tried this. This and the collards are my absolute favorite. And I said in one of my last videos, I'm gonna try to grow these as much as I can now. Now I do have a video that's coming up soon with my garlic. My garlic green stock is on the driveway. So that's why you don't see it as much. All right, so this is one of the reasons that I love living where I do. There is just farmland and wooded areas for miles. Now there's also houses around here, but there's lots of this right here going on and I love it. So you guys, I am not anti-progress, but as they build up in different areas, that brings more congestion to the rural areas. I am not against condos, building new homes. I've lived in a townhome myself. I've lived in other places, but all of the farmland is being bought up. You can see here, this used to be farmland. Now it's houses, okay? And we're gonna go across the street, excuse all the wonky driving. There's some more farmland, and then we've got fields that just go for miles and miles. And what's happening is all of the land is being developed, it's being bought up, and animals are losing their homes. Millions of deer, birds, beavers, groundhogs, fox, coyotes, everything has been displaced, okay? This was all wooded before, and here you go, you can see they're building homes here. This was also some farmland. And so they've just started this development. And as we go just a little bit farther, you can see here they're putting some small trees in there to put kind of a separation between the farmland here and the land that's been sold. I don't want to show too many of the homes because I don't want to invade people's privacy, but you can clearly see that was farmland by the structures on the land. Now, all of this is being taken down. There's already signs everywhere talking about what's coming. And as we keep going, you can see here, miles of trees that have just been taken down. Now, you can't really tell the depth here. It goes pretty far back, but this was all wooded and there were lots and lots of deer and animals that lived in this area, but this has all been taken down. And in a minute, we're going to go across the street. Now this keeps going on this side for a long ways. But you can see over here, now this is new. They've started taking all of this down. So you can see how an enormous number of creatures would be losing their homes. Now this is one example of what they're putting up, okay? Some nice new houses. They're all very close together, very small yards. This is still in the works. Here's more land that they've cleared. They're going to build even more back here and go even farther to the back. Here's some more. It's just miles and miles and miles of this. And you can see here, here are some more houses that are up. Now look how close these are. They are right on top of each other. Very small pads of grass out front. But this is why green stalks and grow bags are so relevant, you guys. These people need a place to do a little bit of gardening. Get outside a little bit. Get some fresh air. Grow some food. All of this is being torn down. Okay, here's across the street. Here's some more. But what I was just showing you on the right, all of that's going to be going too. And this extends much farther than what I'm showing you today. What this means for me is congestion. Okay, in my area that used to be very quiet, lots and lots of traffic with thousands and thousands of people moving in. All of this was farmland. And guess what you're about to see, you guys? The original farmhouse right there. I'm going to turn around and come back. All of this was beautiful farmland. And all they left was the farmhouse. They sold everything else around them. It immediately turns into these townhomes. Here's another street. They just tore down all the old houses here. And I'm about to get to it from another angle too. 
All of this was wooded. All of this has been torn down. And those in the back, way back there, new houses that have already gone up. This was all farmland. All of this is within the last year to three years, you guys. All of this was farmland. And I'm driving, so it's kind of hard to see it. There's an old farmhouse. Here's some more farmland. But you can see they are just buying it up. So I'm not against progress, you guys. When I bought this place, I bought it because I thought it was far enough out to where I could still have privacy and all of the quiet and get away from all of the traffic, but I was still close enough to civilization. You can see civilization is getting closer to me. It's moving farther out as people are trying to sell their land. And a lot of people finally sold their land that had been in the family for years because they were able to get so much more per acre. But as you can see, it's not all going to people that are just looking to homestead. There's a lot of people developing land out there. So it does make me sad. All of these animals that have lost their homes, I'm gonna have a lot more congestion in my area. It won't feel like I'm out as far as it did before. So before you guys go buying a homestead or a farmstead, just think about how you wanna live. What kind of lifestyle do you want? Do you wanna be isolated? Do you care if people kind of move in a little bit closer? Cause you may need to get farther out or save up and buy a larger piece of land just so that you can still have that feeling of privacy that you started out with. Just some things to think about. You have to live according to your budget, whether you're buying or renting, and I totally get that. And I did want to say, though, today that green stocks are totally relevant. Not everybody is buying a farmstead or a homestead. A lot of people are still moving into smaller areas with not a lot of land, and there are still people who would like to garden that live in those areas. So if you guys know people that are in areas like that, educate them. Let them know about the green stock and how much fun it is. What a great opportunity to try your hand at growing something special even in a small area. All right, guys, thanks for letting me share my day with you today and for coming along with me on that ride. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe talk to your neighbors and friends about the green stock garden and maybe even some grow bags, things that they can do in a smaller area. I will see you real soon in the next video. And until then, y'all have a great couple of days. Bye-bye.